What's up, y'all? It's me, your girl, at K Kanora, and I'm back with another video. I'm about to get up. I was just sitting here watching Criminal Minds and eating, and I'm ready to get up. So I'm about to get up, and I want you guys to get ready with me today. Can you do that? Do you want to do that? Okay, come on, so let's get ready. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean up. I'm not cleaning the kitchen, so don't even say I didn't clean the kitchen because I ain't planning on cleaning the kitchen. I'm just gonna open up my blinds and make my bed, and then I'm gonna get ready. And I want y'all to get ready with me. Okay, so I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna leave the TV on for the purposes of this video. I'm going to leave the TV on. I, normally, when I get up and get ready, I turn music on. But you already know you can't have music on YouTube. So, I'm just going to leave the TV on. So, if y'all hear the TV in the background, don't think that it's somebody trying to kill me. No, I'm, I'm perfectly safe in my home. It's just the TV. Okay? I know that I have a lot of crazy people. I live around a lot of crazy people. But, uh... They know how far to go. So let me use the bathroom real quick. Because I almost damn near just peed on myself. Whew. Ooh, that feels so good. Hmm. So, I'm not going to lie, y'all. Um... Never mind, I'm not going to say that because y'all already know the narcissist be watching my page. This the only crazy part about, you know, having people, well, not people, I won't say people. I'll say narcissists watching you and stuff. They watch everything you do, so I have to censor myself, which... It's not, um, me. Y'all know I give it to y'all straight. No chaser. No shame in my game. But the narcissist love to use your own words against you. But anyways, the reason why I wanted to, um, make this get ready video. Because I wanted to talk to you guys about... And I hope y'all can hear me because I'm going to sit y'all on the TV so that I can make my bed up. But, um, I wanted to make this video to talk about the lion monkeys. Okay. Because the flying monkeys take place right after the narcissist discards you. Okay. Right when they begin to smear your name. Now, they can, they can have the flying monkeys before they discard you. Because as long as I can remember, I've been... Life changes. My name has been being smeared, and I have been dealing with flying monkeys. So, yeah, it doesn't matter whether you're in the discard phase or the love bombing phase. They will do any and everything to discard that's why we switched. I did a lot of research. We saved hundreds or to not to, well, no they'll do any and everything no to make it seem you. like you that they are, years. So get I sleep with my baby pajamas. It smells just like him. When I see it. But um, cellular, they'll do anything to make it seem like that they have power and that all of these people agree with them and nobody agrees with you and if you haven't seen my flying monkey video that i made i'm gonna put my socks back on because they're still clean from yesterday so i'm gonna put them back on so but it doesn't matter what 
face. You're in with a flying monkey. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna turn this TV off. Cause I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs> but that's much better. Um it doesn't matter what phase you are in when you're dealing with a flying monkey, um, with a narcissist, you will still um encounter flying monkeys just to make you self doubt yourself and to go along and be controlled by them even more so like i said it doesn't matter what phase it could be in the love bombing phase the ideation phase the discard phase or the devalue stage it doesn't matter the narcissist use the flying monkeys to make you think that no one believes you everyone believes them everyone thinks you're crazy no one thinks i'm crazy so you're the problem and that's why they use the flying monkeys but and if you haven't seen my flying monkey video then go watch that video because in that video i said that if you are a flying monkey then to me you are a narcissist now that's the part that you have to figure out on your own. You have to figure out whether this person is a narcissist as well or if they're just being used by the narcissist and they don't know it, okay? Um, and that's what I want to talk to you guys about because I felt like that if you are a flying monkey, then you are automatically a narcissist. And... I take that back because when I was in the crazy house, there were patients using my story, using my words. Well, I'm just going to say gaslighting me. I don't have to explain how I'm being gaslighted. Gaslight is gaslight. Gaslight is gaslight. So there were patients there gaslighting me. And I asked myself, I'm like, okay, do this person know that they're gaslighting me or are they just saying what someone told them to say? And in that situation, I'm, I'm still not for sure whether they were um, narcissists or being told to say these things. But I do know that one woman who is by my side, who is a sweet woman, I won't say her name, but she is a real sweet woman. And she told me, she was like, um, keep shining like the star you are. Now, those are my words. And because they are my words, I feel like that she was told to say that to me because she wasn't there when those words were being said, when I said those words. Now, the lady in Alabama that I lived above, she is the narcissist and she is the one who is smearing my name and she is the one who reported back to the Green Tree apartment manager and the Green Tree apartment manager um, reported to Section 8 and Section 8 reported to Section 8 here now. Um, that's how that works. So now that I see that, I see now that sometimes a flying monkey don't know that they are being used. Some some flying monkeys don't know. But keep in mind that some flying monkeys do know that they are um, what they are doing. And the ones that do know and, you know, participate in it anyways, they are narcissists. So you just have to figure out and make sense of the situation yourself and that's pretty much what I I did I literally am so proud of myself because through the midst of all of this I have figured it out you know and because I have figured this out it has gave me a great deal of peace um I always thought that it was hard to figure out a uh, narcissist, but <laughs> I don't feel that way no more because they're simple, you know, they're simple. That's why they have to 
cause all of this drama in your life to confuse you because they're just that simple. And um, I'm finding me some clothes right now so that I can brush my teeth and get ready and everything. And I, I, I stole some pants from the crazy house. She gave me these pants to put on, and I liked them, so I stole them. Yep. Hold up one second, y'all. I think I found clothes just that fast. It didn't take me all day to find clothes, which is a good thing. I'm going to put these underwear on. I already have my bra that I'm wearing. I've been wearing my old bra lately because my titties have gotten smaller. And I can fit it. I think I already have a bath towel. I just need a washcloth. And y'all know I only shower with. This is my baby's room. Don't worry. He's coming home, y'all. He's coming home. So, um, I got my washcloth. I got my clothes. I got my bras right here on the floor. I'm going to sit my clothes on the bed and I'm going to take my wife. Yep, I have a dry towel here. So, I'm ready to get in the shower. I just like to make sure I have all my stuff before I get in the shower so I won't have to run across the house butt naked. I would, but it's some creeps around right here, so I have to be very careful. So, I'm going to brush my teeth first, and we're going to finish talking about flying monkeys. So, I learned that some flying monkeys don't know that they're being used. And you can kind of figure out who is carrying the messages upon when... You're being gaslighted, okay? And what I mean by that is that you can't heal in the same environment that broke you. And when the woman told me to keep shining like the star I am. She had just contacted Alabama Section 8 for me. And that kind of opened my eyes like, well damn, she don't know. You see what I'm saying? They, they, Sometimes the flying monkeys don't give no. They just use her and she don't know that she's being used. And that just make me look at the narcissist as not even a human person. Because this innocent woman, you see what I'm saying? They're using innocent people. Now, what if I was the type of person who carry the gun would probably shoot up a, a, a place or something like that what if I was that type of person then this innocent woman just like my innocent child would have lost her life because of something that they're doing
because it's mental abuse so stay tuned for my psychologically abuse video that will be up today so make sure y'all turn on the notifications so that y'all won't miss out on my new videos so you can stay up to date on my new videos make sure you're sharing my videos and i know that you can't comment but i just want to say comment anyways if you got a comment in your mind or things that you want to tell me you can hit me up at the real nikki 88 at gmail.com t-h-e-r-e-a-l-n-i-k-k-i 88 at gmail.com the real nikki that is my gmail account you can message me whatever you want to do at the real nikki at g i mean the real nikki 88 at gmail.com but that showed me just how i want to say dumb because that word i never call people dumb but when it comes down to a narcissist they don't care who they hurt okay to hurt you it's like they're so toxic to the point where they will bring down anyone that woman is the sweetest thing because i literally had to apologize to her for acting crazy with her not knowing well well thinking that she was gaslighting me and thinking that she was the narcissist because, like I said, I felt like with the flying monkey, if you are gaslighting me, then you are automatically a narcissist. And it, it that is not true. And I, I see that now. And you guys are blessed because you guys get to see my trial in my era of me learning how to um, deal with a narcissist. Like, I know that my mom was a narcissist, this, that, other, third. But... I never really looked into it the way that I'm looking into it now. So I'm learning a lot. And I'm making mistakes, which is normal. And um, But like I said, when I'm wrong, I'm woman enough to say that I'm wrong. And I can apologize. And when I did that to that lady, that lady was like, don't worry about it. She still treat me the same. She still talk to me the same. I feel like she still has my best interest at heart. I'm not going to say her name because I already know the narcissists hate people who like me. So, um, yeah. But, I also feel like that if someone believes something about you without even knowing you or if they um don't see those traits that someone else is saying and they still believe the lies about you then they were never really your friend so but yeah i just learned that let me turn my shower on because i'm gonna take a shower y'all get to take a shower with me today y'all y'all get to Take a shower with me. Let me go get some coffee. Yeah, so I just learned that um, the other day. I just learned that the other day. Like, the woman was saying that she just had got off the phone with the Section 8 in Alabama. And before she could say goodbye, she was like, keep shining like the star you are. Those are my words. And I'm like, now I get it. I had to put two and two together. And now I get it. See, a narcissist is not just going to, especially a covert narcissist, because they have to look good and... So they're not going to just come out and say that they don't like you. That whole Section 8 office was jealous of me. Brianna, Brenda, all y'all. They was jealous of me. 
back. They were jealous of me, so they pretend like they have good things to say about me. But I ain't never hear them say no good things about me. Every time I went in there, they had their nose tooted up. They was jealous. And I ain't do shit to you. I ain't do nothing to you. So that's how I know that they was jealous. They, they, they want to be me. They want to be me so bad. But baby, you couldn't be me. If you walked in my shoes for a minute, you would be want you you would not want to be me. Cuz I have to deal with people hating me for no reason every day. You think you can handle that? I think not. You'll probably kill yourself. But the way I see it, if my own mother never like me. What the fuck I give about the next person who don't like me? I really don't. never find anything when you're looking for it. It's when you're not looking for it. You, you find it. Alright, y'all. So, I'm about to get in the shower. But, yeah. I just learned that some flying monkeys don't know that they're being used. I'm going to turn the light out. Hold up. Let me see something. Make sure y'all don't see my titties. Because then I have to charge your ass. Yeah, so this is my nightgown. I'm going to put that back on, so I'm going to hang it up there. But yeah, some flying monkeys don't know. So now I'm wondering, like, who's the flying monkey and who's the uh, freaking narcissist? But you know what? I can tell the difference between a flying monkey who don't know and a flying monkey who do know. A flying monkey who don't know, they're not going to be with the bullshit at all. A flying monkey who do know, they with all the shits. With they coward asses. Oh, yes. Uh, when I tell you, ain't nothing like a good shower to put you back in the game. And you know, that lady must use her shower. Cause I'm never here to take the shower. Oh yeah, but it's okay. It's okay, because you know what? I still have my pride and my integrity. I just have to do a better job with protecting my son. But I know that the ancestors are protecting him. I know my mother is protecting him. I know Black Panther is protecting him. I know my grandmother is protecting him. My uncles are protecting him. I know he's protected. Yeah, because the world we live in today is not the time for your child to be in foster care with strangers. I don't care what color they is. It's not the time for your child to be in foster care with strangers the way this world is. It make me think that I have to 
put a metal detector on my son just to make sure he ain't got no chips in his body. That's how crazy of a world we live in today. I don't trust nobody with my child. But the narcissist used the flying monkeys to continue to abuse you. That's why they use the flying monkeys. But just like I said, they're nothing. And I mean that. I don't like to think of people as nothing. But anyone who gets someone's child taken away from them, and you a police officer? Bruh. It made me lose respect for police officers. You know, I kept trying to think that even though some police officers were shooting down people who looked like me, couldn't, couldn't be justifiable for all police officers. But you know what they say, one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. And it's over for me with trusting police officers, for real. Because I have met too many police officers, flying monkeys, who have abused their authority. I have met too many of them. Even back in my younger years, I had a police officer. He just rolled up on us. We was just hanging out in our neighborhood, you know just chilling, playing dominoes, talking, playing music, just minding our own business. And a couple of police officers rolled up on us and tried to handle us. And I even had one take my purse. He took my purse and went through my fucking purse, bruh. I guess he thought that we were criminals and that the boys had me holding their weed or their guns and stuff like that. Which turned out not to be the fucking case. But he had no right to take my damn purse. But that's how we're treated in the hood. We already criminals in the hood. That's why they place us there. That's why they place us there. Because they know if they give us no resources, no good education, no good environment, that we will end up in the private prisons. They know that. And that's why he rolled up on us and took my purse. I have seen police officers who were working with some of the drug dealers, had some of the drug dealers Selling they dope for them. And then to kind of throw us off, they would come by, pull up, and throw them down on the ground, empty out their drugs, take their drugs, which were their drugs, take their drugs, and put them, throw them out, and, 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 and uncuff them, and let them go. That's how we always knew who was working with the police. That's how we knew that. So, 
but I still try to teach my son and myself to respect the police because at the end of the day, it takes a brave soul to serve and protect. You know what I'm saying? Everybody always talking about how hard it is to be a police officer. Don't you think we know that? But that don't give them a right to shoot somebody three times, two in the back and one in the head, motherfucker. That's a perfect aim right there, nigga. Shit, and you scared? No, bitch, I'm scared. You the one got the damn gun and the mace and the handcuffs and all this shit. People don't run for fun. People run away when they're scared. And 80% and, and, and of the killings that took place, they had no gun when the police said it was a gun. So I don't understand the fear tactic that people try to put up. I don't get that. But yeah, the flying monkeys can be anybody. And I know that the police officer is a flying monkey, but he knows. He knows that he's being used. Because our first encounter, this police officer man came and put his dick in my face. I had to tell this man to back up. The same police officer who Baker ate me now. The same officer. I was at the bus stop with my son when all of this stuff first happened. And I called the police. That was my first time calling the police. I, I, don't, I think it was November the 6th. I hadn't been here a month. And that police officer told me if another officer comes, they're going to baker eight me. For no fucking reason, bruh. For no reason. And I knew then that he was a flying monkey. But the difference between him is that he knew. You could tell. You could tell who's Who's the who's the flying monkey slash narcissist too? And you can tell who's a flying monkey and they don't know. That woman who says shine like the star you are, I thank you for that. And I love you for that. And I don't, I'm so sorry that you have to. I forgot to put on some baby oil, y'all. I'm so sorry that she have to be manipulated as well because of me. All right, y'all. See, stop playing with me. I got to put some baby oil on. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that she has to go through that because nobody deserves that. And the saddest part is that she don't even know that she's being... being used she don't know it and I know it because her attitude is still the same with me she has always been caring towards me now Joanne whoop, she knows because one day she'll be nice and then the next day she'll just be mean I remember when I first came down here, and this is after Gator put me in jail. I ain't have no money to pay my deposit or anything. And I called her, and she just coldly, coldly, I can't help you. I can't help you. Coldly, after she pretended to be my darn friend. You feel me? So I, I she's way different. And I can see the difference. So y'all just know that some flying monkeys don't know. 
I thought they did. I thought they did. But they don't. Some flying monkeys just don't know that that they're being used. They really don't. They just don't know that they're being used. And some of them do. Some of them do. So you just have to listen to what they're seeing and how they're seeing it. And and because remember, that's all narcissistic supply when they can get you going. So if they turn into a whole different person as they're gaslighting you, if, if they get, if, if it boosts their confidence, that's how you know that they are a narcissist as well. Because narcissists do this weird little thing. I stole these pants, y'all, from the crazy house. They gave them to me. Why would you give me these pants? Because you were also gaslighting me too. Look how fat my ass is. Stop playing with me. This made me don't even want to put no shirt on. I think I probably just put my sports bra on. I had that shirt to put on, but I don't want to put that shirt on. It's hot. I'm home. So I just wear my sports bra. I smell good. My sister bought me some baby oil. I smell so good right now. But that's how you know because a narcissist get this weird like power. You can see that they want power because you can see it in they that the way they body react when they're gaslighting you. That's how you know. But I shaved up under my arms yesterday. I shaved my legs. I shaved everything. And I haven't shaved my legs since I was in high school. Probably since I was running the streets. Because you know when I was running the streets. You feel me? I had to make sure. I, <laughs> I had to make sure I was you're right. You feel me? Can be running the streets and looking toe up from the blow up. No, ma'am. I am hot. All right. So let's get everything up. Bring it up. That can stay down there. My teeth is brushed. Now I'm just about to do my hair. And I'm probably just gonna do my hair just to put my hair scarf back on. That's what I've been doing as of lately. Doing my hair. I'm not going to be able to put it back on right away. 
But yeah, so with a narcissist, you can always tell that you're talking to a narcissist because they get this weird kind of power, hungry, struggle thing, and you're like, calm down, calm down. That's how you know you're dealing with somebody who is a flying monkey but also a narcissist because they do that. And that's how that officer was with me. He was like so happy. It was like the best time of his life sending me to the crazy house. Like, he couldn't even contain him motherfucking self. And that's how you know the difference. That's exactly how you know the difference. Now, with a person who is a flying monkey and don't know, you probably just get the same, it probably just be like normal conversation. It won't be like, yeah. Cause, uh, continue to be a star, just like the star you are. You see, it, it has a lot of sarcasm behind it when you're dealing with a flying monkey who is a narcissist. But when you're dealing with a flying monkey who don't know that they're being used, it's gonna, it's gonna sound like normal conversation. Baby, don't let me down. Got a lot going on right now. And I need you to hold me. Need you to hold me. And when you get cold and I'm feeling kind of lonely, I'm hoping that you're going to put a cover on me. <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> I gotta get some more gel. Why did I turn this on? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sweating like a Hebrew slave. This motherfucker. Y'all, I am hot, y'all. Y'all gonna have to wait. You understand, my? You gonna have to wait, shorty. And I ain't talking about your pounds. I'm talking about you gotta wait. I'm gonna put some chapstick on because as of lately, matter of fact, let me get some water. sweating y'all y'all see that that's sweat but yeah I take that back so y'all go um watch my flying monkey video and um listen to it real good because I said that if you are gaslighting me then you are automatically a flying monkey or a, um a narcissist that's what I believe but no, the conversation is different when you're dealing with uh, a flying monkey who knows and a flying monkey who don't know. Like I said, the conversation with the flying monkey who knows, who is a narcissist, they get this weird type of power type thing. And it's so weird. They like, yeah, because shine like the star you are. It's like that type of conversation. And what a person who don't know, they'd be like, just continue to shine like the star you are and that's how she did it because really I'm going through a lot and that's what my caseworker said but I got to watch his ass don't worry I'm gonna watch him because he said you've been through a lot I got to watch how he say that shit so I can determine if he's a flying monkey or if he just don't know But thank you guys for getting ready with me. I've been basically watching my videos. And that's something I never do. Once I upload a video, I don't watch it. But I've been watching all of my videos. Especially the ones with my son in it. I miss him so much, y'all. 
You can imagine, huh? I know. Especially if you're a mother. Like I have been for the last seven years. And I called my child's father. And let him know everything that was going on. And this fool gonna tell me talk about the problem. The problem. He was like, something what he said about the problem. <laughs> I said, no. The problem is, is that I've been taking care of my son by myself for seven years. That's the problem. Don't play with me. And then he gonna have a nerve to talk about. I, Cause I told him, I said, I've been calling you. He gonna have a nerve to talk about for what? Bitch, what the fuck you think for what? What do I call you for? <laughs> like, listen, don't play with me. Cause I ain't on that baby mama, baby daddy shit. I've never been. I'm too grown for that. Like, I don't know who you trying to show out in front of, but you better get it right, get it tight right now. Cause I will shame you out in front of all your little friends you trying to act bad in front of. So I told him, like, what the fuck else you think I'm calling you for some dick? I got a dick in my closet if I wanted one. If I needed some dick, I got one in my closet. Don't play with me. They already know I ain't wrapped too tight. I keep telling you people, stop messing with me because I don't care what I say. I have, I have no, no, no care. Like, especially when I feel like you, you playing with me. No. That's not, that's, that's what we not going to do. I don't want to put this on and my hair is still wet. I'm trying to dry it. Boy, don't play with me, boy. Don't play with me. Because I'm classy, but I could be a little nasty if you want to take it there. Really, really. Forever, ever, 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 forever, ever. I wish I could become a musician and an epidemic off the shadow. Thoughts of me, thoughts of she, thoughts of I pray something about your body, needs some knee pads. Oh, get my motherfucking Andre 3000 on one of your motherfucking ass. Stop playing with me, bro. Talk about what I'm calling him for. No, he didn't, y'all. Like he keep talking to somebody. I had to pipe him back down, honey. That's what we not gonna do. <laughs> he act like I call him for dick. Bitch, I don't call you for dick. I call you for money, motherfucker. Something you don't give. The fuck? Fuck I want your dick for? No, motherfucker. Because if you don't love Noah, then you don't love me. And that's on period. My baby come first. And once you say fuck Noah, you saying fuck me. And once you say fuck me, it's fuck you. So... I had to get his ass scraped real fast. Calling me. I mean, talking about what I'm calling him for. Bitch. <laughs> I've had better. Don't make me hurt your feelings. Please don't make me hurt your feelings. I've had better. And I would just say it for the hell of it. Just to fuck your mind up. Talking about what? Boy, stop. See, that's why me and my child's father came. You know, rock like that. Because he always, 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 always. If he not, if I'm not giving him what he want, he don't give a f care about my son. You see what I'm saying? Because I had to shut him down. He going to tell me, talk about. Because he got plans for me. Bitch, you ain't got nothing for me. Only thing you got for me is a check for Noah. That's it. You ain't got nothing for me. Who the hell he think he is thinking that he can just walk in and out me and my son life when he get fucking ready? Who do that? So now he don't want to answer hitting my calls. Because I had to set that boundary with his ass. But it's cool. Because he a grown ass boy. And I know he a grown ass boy. And that's what I get for thinking since he was older, he would be more mature. <laughs> but now, what Lily say, age ain't nothing but a number. And I'll ain't nothing but a thing. That's all I have to you. 
It'll never change. Shit. My shit change every day, Lily. My shit change every day, baby girl. That fool. Y'all already know I had to get him. He don't want to answer his phone now, y'all. Cause <laughs> I guess I caused the narcissistic injury. He started it, though. I keep telling y'all that. They be causing their own shit, bruh. They cause their own narcissistic injuries. Really, he did. Because what he thought, he thought that he was going to be able to try me. You see what I'm saying? But I, I, I threw it back on him. Bitch, I'm, I stay ready so I don't have to get ready. Just like Monica says, sometimes I have to fight because my mouth too slick. Baby, why you doing me like I ain't worth this shit? Make me want to ride past your house and sit. Kick down your doors and smack your chick. Just to show a Nikki not having it. I ain't in love with you. It's no drug habit. get. So, you treat me so unreal. Hm. What she do? What you do? I can do better. The fuck? She, got, she had that song messed up. She should have. She had that song messed up. Fuck that nigga. Shit. The fuck? I needs to be validated. And if you're not validating me, then you can get the fuck out of my life. The fuck? You're not gonna make me feel like that is I'm insecure because I expect for you to love me. No, bitch, I'm not insecure because I expect for you to love me. I'm supposed to expect for somebody to love me. And if you ain't loving me the way that I need to be loved, then you can get the fuck on. Then you won't have to worry about me being insecure. Cause all I, get to you. I don't know how this um, video went from a flying monkey to, <laughs> to that. But, uh, nah, because he tried me. You better stop trying Noah's mother. Because you already know I get it out the mud for mine. So since you're not answering my phone, when my baby do come home, he's going with my sister because I'm not dealing with this shit. I'm not dealing with this. You sitting up there talking like he, he going to get Noah, this, that, or the third, but now he can't even answer his damn phone. So, what if I needed you to get Noah? I ain't got time for that. I don't have time for it. Noah don't deserve that. He can stay right where he at. Shit, because anytime he come in and leave out, I am stuck to deal with my son's emotions. Nobody else. Me. So now I know I have to protect my baby better than I've been protecting my baby. Because motherfuckers just don't give a fuck. You know? A lot of shit has changed, you know? And I'm old school. I'm, I'm literally old school. You know, if I see a person trying to help themselves, you know, that makes me want to help. You know, all I need to see if you you trying, if a person is trying, you know, help them because they're trying to do better. But it's not like that no more. It's like the more I try, the less help I get. Whew. But anyways, y'all, I'm gonna end this video right here. My hair is done. Just gotta flip that up. I ain't putting no mousse on it today because I don't feel like it. So, um, that's what I learned about a flying monkey. There are flying monkeys who know and could be a narcissist too if they play on it too, if they continue to gaslight you, if their energy is like this weird energy, you know that they're a flying monkey. And then there's flying monkeys that don't know. 
and you will you'll be able to recognize their energy because their energy will be not like the flying monkeys energy the flying monkey energy will be like i got you made you look actually i just saw a fake page on pof that had a pit bull and a hat and a jacket and when i got on there it said made you look so that was another gaslighting tactic but that's the energy of a uh, uh, a flying monkey who knows okay and nine times out of ten a flying monkey who knows is also a narcissist flying monkey who don't know is not okay so um yeah just keep your eyes open look for the signs look for the patterns um listen twice and speak once because you would know and um i've made plenty of mistakes but i'm still beautiful i'm still me i'm still fine as fuck the fuck you mean And I didn't even know I had kept these pins because when I was leaving, the man was like, just put your stuff, do your stuff, do that, do that. Like, he was moving so fast to the point where I had to change in one of the bathrooms outside of the crazy house place. That's how fast he was moving. So when I got home and I seen him, I was like, okay, got me some new pins, baby. And I'm thinking them, okay. But anyways, y'all. Thank you for watching this video if you are new to my channel then subscribe to my channel if you are already a subscriber then you already know what to do and make sure you click that notification bell so you don't be missing out baby on all this thickness you feel me peace until next time and if noah was here what would noah say and goodbye you already know stay tuned for more videos